The infamous Destroyer 2009 hacks honestly completely shaked up everything in the world of Apex news because we were supposed to be getting some pretty neat changes to the whole situation we were already dealing with. And now that that happened, I think everything must be getting pushed back. It's a big problem because we're dealing with it right now and it's starting to peep its head back up again. If you guys want to stay up to date with all the things that are going on in the world of the Apex Legends news scene, well, of course, like the video and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date right here. Big shout out to Glitch Energy for sponsoring today's video. Listen, we all all love gaming drinks but this is the best one that i have ever tried and i've tried g fuel glitch energy and i've also tried gamer subs the company has supported me so much in the last three years and you guys know i have my own flavor with them already with maui punch but another flavor that i really started to like again was blue raspberry it's called smurf juice so check it out down in the description below and use code jmiles to get your 20 percent discount on all the purchases not just the drinks even on the already inexpensive starter packs which is a good way to get in to figure out which flavor you like without further ado let's dive into what's going on in the scene of apex legends right now firstly wanted to make mention of some of the teaser updates of course we've been following this trail for season 21 honestly we're not even that far from it the new season came out mid-february we're, we're already knocking on the door of april so within about a month we're gonna start getting some official information like actual trailers and such and then within about a month and a half we'll be living in the new season already which is just crazy stuff to say so within literally just about two weeks from now you're gonna start seeing some teasers come out in apex for season 21 so hyper had put this out earlier this is phase one so we already knew that the final phase of the teaser would be coming out april 22nd because april 23rd is the new event that new event's got three strikes out tm already mentioned that if you missed it then go check out last video but phase one is going to start april 16th then phase two will start april 19th the final phase which is phase three is going to start april 22nd it's also word on the street based on what's going around twitter where hyper mist had said that the apex artifacts has an update where all the artifacts are qatar variants and each qatar has a set of interchangeable mods which can be swapped in their own dedicated lobby section each guitar set is available in their own event along with a weapon skin themed after it this was obviously a leak coming from oz so of course none of this stuff is ever confirmed but it seems like it's definitely got some attention over on twitter or x do you guys really call it x i just cannot ever switch now the unfortunate stuff in apex that i really just don't understand at this point is what in the world happened to this promise that apex was going to deliver Deliver the cheaters so before apex had to deal with the destroyer 2009 hacks they were already dealing with a massive influx of console cheaters doing six mans and nine mans also apex just having cheaters in general with wall hack and aimbot it got so bad that you had pro players like his watson saying that it was the worst that cheating had been in the entire 16 seasons that he had ever seen every pred lobby had multiple cheater teams and a lot of them had multiple pred badges as well which means they've been going on untouched for the last couple of seasons he even said i'd almost rather them have worse matchmaking so at least the cheaters are spread out and i don't have to fight them every single game but i'm losing my mind alpha intel eventually came out with a statement from respawn saying that they have a quote investigation that is happening into the cheating in apex we can't share specific because we don't want to avoid tipping the cheaters off of our anti-cheat efforts but please know that we have an entire team dedicated to anti-cheat efforts who are on it sadly 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 that news came out and many people thought well maybe we'll get somewhere with the whole cheating situation because there's teamers everywhere there are people running rampant all over the place but then destroyer 2009 hacks happened and all of the dev team really had to shift their focus on what seemed to be like a security breach which was rightfully so i understand why they had to do it but it just seems like ever since that happened we've gone nowhere with this situation and it's starting to peep its head back up but that wasn't the only problem we also had connor ford hideouts was obviously the head like you know master over there as far as the people are concerned because he's the only public figure that we really know from the security team and anyways he was actually involved in some discord activity where he was telling the community specifically for console players not just generic apex players but specifically specifically for console players. Please continue to post all of your videos of the people that are six manning inside of the clip channel, but that wasn't just for six manning. This was for people that was like nine manning or just people that were teaming up in general, people that were cheating and, you know, Q sniping their friends so that they could just take on the entire lobby. We even saw a clip not long ago where you had a team that was six manning versus a hacker who was under the map. And it was just like nine people still alive and they were all cheating. 
and they were all preds and they all had multiple pred badges and they were all current preds as well just really unfortunate stuff and it was annoying how crazy this stuff and out of hand this stuff is getting well anyways you had all those situations going down and now 10 hours ago now that we look past all these crazy hacks you've had the hacks of destroyer 2009 all these cheaters all these nine men six manners you have posts like this coming out and the fans are feeling hopeless gunner boy 223 got a lot of good feedback or at least a lot of people that agreed with him as he posted this just 10 hours ago cheating is so out of control and crazier than ever i finally solo queued to diamond and i can't even count how many times i got blatantly wall hacked and aimbotted on even ran into a few teams that were colluding with one another and teaming along the way and now i'm playing in diamond lobbies and there are just cheaters in every lobby but what happened to this we had the promise that apex was investigating this issue they were working on this this was just a couple of weeks ago and ever since the destroyer 2009 hacks sadly this stuff seems to be put on the back burner but at least it feels that way i can't speak for certain and exactly what's going on over there at respawn but this guy continued to say i hopped on my smurf to play with one of my buddies in gold and we ran into aimbotters there too i've been playing the game for a few years and this season is exceptionally bad right now and i feel like the destroyer debacle open the floodgates for other cheaters to feel confident that they will not get caught i hate to sound negative but the future of this game truly feels hopeless the cheating is only going to worsen if they don't do something drastic then what's going to happen what's the logical outcome given the rise of hacking i love this game so much but it's currently at the worst state that it's ever been and i can't get any better at this game or enjoy it when i'm going against hackers in every lobby i really hope they do something but given the rise of predatory events and the new heirloom system it seems like respawn is more focused on money than the longevity of this game if you read the comment section you see nothing but absolute support for this guy a lot of people seem to be completely agreeing saying things like there's zero reason to play ranked at the current state just literally five hours after that post another post getting a lot of exceptional feedback as well and a lot of people agreeing or the shameless xbox players another situation that seems to be plaguing the console world so like i mentioned there has been a lot of people talking about it and so this guy noticed it and say i've been seeing a lot of posts about cheaters and so i thought i'd pile on i played from day one to season six and just came back a couple of weeks ago i was trying to find some randoms to play with in lfg socials tab on xbox literally 75 percent of the posts when i checked were people looking for a six man i'm like really people don't even bother hiding it now they're just blatantly posting that they're looking for six mans so that they can collect loot inside of rank not to mention all the cronuses and zim accounts out there just a glance over the lfg tab and respawn can make the easiest bands ever but jokes on us i guess at the point for trying to win with two teammates has it been like this for a while now i don't remember anything this bad on console and the answer to your question mr okay sounds good bro is it has been like this for all season long honestly even before this season began we've had this situation for too long and the fans are feeling absolutely hopeless and honestly apex i don't know what's going on anymore but if they don't make a drastic change quick we are definitely going to start losing this game to the cheaters let me know what you guys are thinking about the entire conversation down in the comment section below and what has your experience been this season with cheaters so far i've actually not even seen any but i am only plat and i just have to discredit my opinion because although i feel this way i'm seeing that the internet most certainly does not so let me know what you guys think of course make sure to check out glitchenergy.com down below and use code jmiles to get your 25 percent discount and until the next time we'll see you all later gators